Okay, this is the Dean Torgus clamp. Uh, I think it's still on the internet. Basically, it's a two before. Uh, you put a hinge at one end, put a clasp at the other. It's 18 inches long. About This is an inch and three eighths. I cut that. And I did put a little uh, dowel for alignment. Put a clasp at this end. You fit it all tight. And then after that, these are pieces of sheet metal, 14 inches long, two inches high. I just contact cemented them in. That gives you your tension. So I'm going to put the inside of the quill that needs grinding towards the short side. Make sure it's all down. So the first thing I'm going to do is grind the width. And I've got this rail here adjusted to the right position to grind the width. Now I usually have my uh, shop vac going. I turned it off so you can hear me talk. This is an inch and a quarter PVC uh, shop vac tube fits right in there. I have this receptacle wired right into the switch so when I turn on the machine the shop vac automatically turns on and off with the switch. I should say this, uh, just a regular motor, as you can see, it's mounted. Let's see, it's about, about an inch and three quarters, the drum off the, off the table. Uh, this is a half inch shaft. What I use is a half inch coupler and the shaft on the sanding drum is a quarter inch shaft. So I use a quarter inch coupler, which slides right into the half inch coupler and onto the shaft of the sanding drum. Now what I did is once you get this distance set, then I have a spacer bar that I put in there, spacer wood, and that gives me the right distance to grind the thickness of the quill. So we're going to, all I do is I grind, again, I just grind the width of the quill, and then to grind the thickness, I just use this spacer bar. And I usually run it through a couple times. And there you have, I hope you can see that nice factory ground quill. Now I like to get my quills a certain thickness because I use the Jerry Hill uh, feather burning tool and I want that quill to slide right up in there. And then I can burn my feathers to my shape without even putting it on the arrow. And let's see. So here's a finished, here's a finished feather. It hasn't even been on the arrow yet and I already burned it to shape with the, with the Jerry Hill feather burning tool. Anyway, that's it. I hope it came out okay.